Welcome with the hype. Hello, everybody. Perfect error here, and today we are back on Nationals franchise. I'm not really gonna talk too much. We're just gonna get straight into it. This is a voice over perfect error because um I forgot to unmute my mic while live streaming, so there's no noise. So this whole whole thing is gonna be voice over. Not not everything. Last video was voice over. Anyway, so we are playing the 28 and 14 Mets, top of the division. Would be really good if we won this game. We got Michael Kopech on the mound, probably our best pitcher. And this one is going to be one of the shorter videos. So, yeah. By the way, next episode will be the draft. And we, as you know, we have the second overall pick. And I can't wait. All right, Marte up. Going to get the first out of the game to Garcia. That's the second time that's happened this series. Speaking of stuff that's happened this series, um, I still don't have a single home run. I still don't have a single home run. Looking at their starting lineup. They're looking at Alvarez, who's been great in his last 10 games, so good for him. Now we got Nimmo up, strike three, too easy. Now, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, got Kodai Sang on the mound. He's uh had a okay, okay start right now, and he or no, he's actually been pretty good this year. Probably gonna win Rookie of the Year for NL. Cedric Mullins up. First pitch of the game, and oh, hits him in the knee. And uh, we will take first here. He is a pretty good stealer, so he might do some stealing. And oh, hard hit ground ball to Eduardo Escobar. Luis Garcia running. Safe or out. What am I saying? Um. Now we got Anthony Santander up. He's got a 291 average on the season. And he's going to be hitting dingers. And no, he's not. He's going to be flying out to first base. Michael Kopech back on the mound. With Pete Alonso. I already know the strikeout voice over me right here. <laughs> Too easy. So Michael Kopech has two strikeouts already. You can look at a pitch sequence that you didn't get to see because I edited it out. Slider, fastball slider. Now we got Frankie Lindor up, 287 average. And double down the line. Alex Call hustling for the ball. Bars. And that'll be um a uh, second hitter double. I don't know what to call that. Um, Mark Canna, strikeout. Sorry, spoiler alert. And, um, that'll be his third strikeout for Michael Kopech. And there you go. Um, Eduardo Escobar now up, and... He, and that's going to be a base hit up the middle, and... He is going to score. Eduardo Escobar, not a great swing, but whatever. Alex Call hustling for the ball. Bars again. Um, and he will make the catch. And we are down one to nothing. Eduardo Escobar with a, an okay swing. Now we got O'Neal Cruz up, batting 270 on the year. Hoping to... Uh, Hoping he can do really good this year. And, oof, 108 off the bat. That just sucks. And now we have Alex Call up to bat. I just know this because I know my lineup. And I just edited this video. Now we have Alex Call up. And perfect, perfect. I don't know if you saw the cut in there. But it went from 0-0 to 2-2. 
You're welcome if you didn't notice it. And now we got Mr. Ildemaro Vargas, one and two. Good swing, ball line drive up the middle, and he's going to stay at second. Now, uh, who's up next? I think it's, I never would have guessed that, MJ Melendez. Let's see what he can do here. I do remember what happens, and bang. Pop out to the center fielder, Brandon Nemo. No runs will score that inning. Francisco Alvarez up, and strike two. We're going to go back to that curveball because he hasn't hit it yet. And strike three, I think, fourth K of the game. Um, Now we got Marte up, and I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Um, Ildemaro with a great diving play. What a play from Ildemaro Vargas. That's why we have him at third base. That's why he hasn't been traded away yet. Great, great, um, and he just got a base hit. Good for him, you know, having a good game so far. Brandon Nimmo up. Strike three. Looking at that beautiful circle change that every national pitcher has. And we're just going to jump right into uh, Francisco Lindor throwing an error. Uh, Owen Mullins is stealing. He is going to be safe. Now Mountcastle's up. Let's see what can happen here. Ball four. And Anthony Santander also walked. And uh, now we got O'Neill Cruz up. Just don't want to ground into a double play. With O'Neill Cruz's speed, he might be able to be beat out a ball. And he will. We tie up the game in the third inning. That one wasn't much of a rhyme. Now we got Alex Call hitting the ball down the line to score two runs. He's going to be hustling for second. This is a super dumb idea, but it's a bad throw. So I will take it, take my double. Alex Call pretty hype, and he should be. You know, just sn snuck by Eduardo. And uh, now we have the lead by two. Michael Kopech. Cedric's going to have to run for this one, and he will catch the ball. Good play by Cedric Mullins. Almost identical to that one in the last episode, except he was running the other way. Strike three on Pete Alonso. Second strikeout of the game for Pete Alonso. Fourth, no, fifth of the game for Michael Kopech. MJ Melendez with a ball down the line, and that is going to stay fair, and that will be an easy stand-up double for MJ Melendez. Now Cedric Mullins up, 3-2, and two, and Kodai hangs a slider over the middle of the plate. Cedric Mullins just misses it, and MJ will head to third. Speaking of MJ, I'm going to look up what MJ stands for. Now Mark Canna strikes out on the curveball. That curveball has been pretty effective so far this game. 6K, Eduardo Escobar. Beating the shift. Alex Call making sure he can't get a triple. So taking a little bit further of a route. And that'll be a stand-up double for Eduardo. Omar Narvaez up. And it's going to be a little blooper. They're going to send Eduardo home. Alex Call with the cannon. Out! And that was kind of bang-bang. Still kind of an obvious call for the umpire. Great play. By Alex Hall, we're going to get the show drone. And, uh, yeah, great, great throw. I checked his arm strength. He's got uh, 84. Now we got Ryan Mountcastle look, still looking for our first dinger. And he's going to hit that one hard. Hit that one far. It's still carrying. It's going, is it? <laughs> it's not gone. And it's not gone. Man, that was... That was the one we were hoping for. Now, we got Santander up. And um, he's going to try to swing the bat. And he will get the first hit of this inning. And we are now going over to O'Neill Cruz. Oh, oh. 
fifth inning. Perfect, perfect. How 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 hard was that? I think one twelve. Yeah, one twelve. So a uh, great swing by O'Neill Cruz over there, and um, yeah, he's set him. Okay game. I mean, he has an RBI, but it was on a fielder's choice. Alex Call with his third hit of the game. And that we will not send him. I have been pretty stupid today, but not that stupid. And we're going to get a ball four call on something that was probably a strike. But we take it. And that is, they're going to walk in a run. Now we got Ildemaro Vargas up. And he's going to chop that one. So six. Oh wait. Three. Six. Three. But it's an error. And we will score the sixth run of the game. And I mean. Francisco Lindor's second error of the game. With that one on Cedric Mullins. Now Michael Kopech. Still pitching. And um, Starling Marte is going to bunt. And Ildemaro. Vargas, second good play of the game after his diving play. Another nice play, but um, Marte isn't as fast as he used to be, so he can just barely not beat that out. Now we got Brandon Nimmo up, and strike three, third strike out of the game. He will now have a hat trick, but not in a good way, you hockey and soccer fans. Jeff McNeil now up, and that will be an easy base hit for him. And um, Garcia now up. A little nice swing up the middle. Just like that one from Ildemaro earlier this game. And now we got Lindor. Grounds out to Cruz. Or will he? Will he beat it out? No, he won't. You guys did not think. I, I would hope not. And another ground out to Cruz this inning. And two outs. And now... Eduardo strikes out. I, I forget how many that is. I think that's seven. And now we have Alex Call looking for his fourth hit of the game. That's a good rip and caught by Mark Canna. Now we have Jay Mir, Candelario, and he beats the shift just like Escobar. That will be an easy stand-up double. Mm, not thinking about three. And he threw it to third for some reason instead of the cutoff man. Kind of dumb. But whatever. I don't care. Um, now we have Cedric Mullins up to bat. Looking for his first hit of the game. Will he get it? No, he'll get hit by a pitch for the second time uh, this game. Go charge them on, dude. And uh, let's see, Garcia, what, what can you do? Well, you can take a pitch while uh, Mullins steals the base. And that will be a second steal of the game. And he's going to steal another base. Strike three. But it is the third stolen base for Seti Mullins. And now we're going to see if Mountcastle, his still teammate, can drive him in. And he can. And um, that'll be an RBI single. 97 miles per hour. All right, let's see, Santander, what can you do? You can walk again. So two walks for him and two hit-by-pitches for Mullins. And now O'Neal Cruz, let's see what he can do. He can drive the ball into the gap. Um, that will hopefully score two. O'Neal Cruz, stand-up triple, and that will score two. O'Neal Cruz, what a swing. Great job from him. Now, Alex Call, can he still get that fourth hit? No, he cannot. And we are going to the ninth inning. And Nimmo is going to roll over. No uh, sombrero. And then McNeil is going to pop out to Alex Call. And Pete Alonso with two strikes, two outs, will ground out to O'Neill. Cruz. And we win. We blow out the um, Mets, which should not be happening. But um, yeah, that'll help help us in our little playoff push. And we're probably not going to make the playoffs, but I would prefer if we did. 
And uh, now we're going to be looking at. And we're going to trade O'Neill Cruz, Luisius Fox, and Jackson Clough for Gunnar Henderson. Now, O'Neill Cruz is an 80 overall, and Gunnar is only 77. But Gunnar has a potential, is 21, and I think will be better in the long run. So hopefully that's true. He is listed as a third baseman in this game, like Eli de la, de, Eli de la Cruz. But we are going to be putting him at shortstop against lefties. But against righties, Il Demaro is going to play short because I think Il Demaro is a better defender than Gunner, and Gunner will be better at his main position. But against lefties, Jamer is going to play third, and Gunner is going to play short. So. So yeah, that'll. Oh, now it'll just be simming. I do have a few failed uh, critical situations that I will not show you. I think I'm going to turn off critical situations. So, um, probably not, because, I don't know. I just played an hour's worth of MLB The Show. Don't really feel like playing it anymore. So, anyway, like I said, we're going to be drafting the next day. We are also going to play the Phillies on the 30th um, of, where? what are we in, May? June, we're in June, or well, it will be June, but right now we are technically in Maine. And yeah, see, just going to edit that all out. <laughs> just like that, magic. And uh, now it'll just be simulation to the thing. We're going to look at some offers. Isaiah Kiner for Leffa is, is not, like, worth Jeter Downs. Not even close. Like, I'm never going to use Jeter Downs. But I feel like I could get someone better than him for Jeter. Or for G I feel like I could get somebody better for Jeter Downs. And I might actually do that... Uh, next episode, I'm going to look at Jeter Downs, see if I can maybe get, like, um, I don't know, uh, right now, because I have Anthony Santander. I hate to say it, but I'm mm, third base, maybe, or shortstop. Yeah, I'll get a shortstop, put Gunner at third, and... That might be the end of Il Demaro. It's between Alex Call and Il Demaro or Luis Garcia. But Luis Garcia has B potential and is 22. So he um he can stay for next year just to see how he develops. And then maybe we'll put him put him on there. Anyway, looking at um our drafts. Our draft people we're e we're either gonna go with um that second baseman or this catcher because this catcher is great on the contact 99 could have 99 arm strength and 97 accuracy which is just perfect for me but I also don't well I do have Luis Garcia and he's also kind of young and yeah so now we're just gonna keep simming I was I was thinking about the no-hitter, but again, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like playing MLB The Show after playing one game for an hour. And then Alex Call got a 12-game hit streak. I think that was the last game of his hit streak, so good for him. And now we're looking at Roger. Why is he our 65th guy, but... MLB thinks he's eighth. And then we, we had a pretty good, we're doing pretty good right now. Three games away from being 500. One game, we're going to lose that one. Nick Gordon for Jeter Downs. Um, I'm thinking about this one because we don't, I mean, our second baseman right now is Luis Garcia. And looking back at this, I probably should have agreed to this. Because, you know, while Luis Garcia is, like, um, uh, developing in, like, maybe the minors, 
Nick Gordon can uh, go can um, play. But my only argument there was I don't have a shortstop behind Gunnar Henderson other than him. But, like, Ildemaro can play and Jamer can play third if Gunnar gets injured. So, yeah, I probably should have accepted that trade. And now we're going to scout some more. We're putting in Charlie Russell. I don't know why I said it like that. And we got... I'm thinking Roberto might, like, go in the early round. But we're not going to draft him first. We... Maybe I should, because we do need relievers. But it's probably not worth it. I should go with that second baseman or a catcher. Probably should go with the catcher. Because, um, like I said, just see how Luis Garcia develops. And then maybe I should tank for the rest of the year. and Or, like, try to. And um, get another good draft pick for next year. But um, we'll probably have some people drafted. And if, if this team is still 27th in rank, we're probably not going to do great um this year and then next year we're it's we're also probably not going to do the best because it's not like it's not like our guys are going to come up right away probably our draft guys and uh now we are gonna sim to the phillies game and then after that it'll be it More scouting and more looking at the guy. Like I've I've already scouted him. Why am I why am I looking at the guy? No, that it makes sense because he has more scouting progress to look at. And then I was actually gonna do this Mariners game, but I accidentally I accidentally sim passed it, and we end up on the Phillies game. And so <clears throat> next time uh, we will be playing the Phillies and um, episode number four. Um, and then we'll do the draft. So it'll probably be more than 30 minutes um, on like the last two episodes. And so I'm just trying to figure out a way to save right there, but. There's no way, but anyway, anyway, it's been real. See ya.